Good day, folks. Welcome to the channel. We are having a look at custom fonts in Google Docs. I'm going to show you how to add them and manage them. So let's get straight in. The first thing you want to go ahead and do is open Google Docs, and you can do so by going to your Google Apps on the right hand side of your Chrome browser. You can just scroll down, it's the blue icon, and you can tap on that, and you will get into a page that looks very similar to this one here. And um, once you're in this page over here, you can create a blank document or any of the templates that Google Docs actually offers. So we're going to go ahead for now, we're going to use a blank document, and over here, you can see at the top of your page, you have all of your tools, you have all of your menu items. Now, what you're going to go ahead and do is look for fonts, and it's by default set on Arial. And right over here, you can see that there are a bunch of fonts that you can choose from. But this is not what we're looking for. We're looking to custom our fonts. So right at the top, there's an option that says more fonts. You're going to tap on that. And here you get into Google's font store, basically. So this is how this works over on the left hand side on the top of this window there is a search bar you can search for the fonts you can literally search for any font that they have in their bank it's absolutely free um, you can also go ahead and change the type of script you can filter it down so um, let's say perhaps we want to have it in uh, japanese and then you can also show either all fonts, display, handwriting, monospace, sheriff, or sans sheriff. So it really depends on what exactly it is that you'd like. Then you can also sort this by popularity, alphabetical, the date that it was added, and how much it is trending. So let us just, for example, go ahead and start typing one letter and as you can see over here as you start typing it's, it'll start giving you um, options and you can see here that this is what the font looks like now to actually use this font you're just going to click on it now once you've clicked on it you'll see it is now highlighted in blue you can see that there is a check mark next to it and if you go to the right hand side these are the fonts that you've actually added from the Google font store once you're done with this window you can see that that's what you've added you can now go to the bottom of this window tap on OK if you go back into that fonts tab on your menu at the top, you can see now that it is actually in here in recents. And if you go down to um, the section where that would be in, it begins with the letter R. It is now in alphabetical order in the list of fonts. So you can now use it in the future. It'll always be in here. If you would like to remove it, you can just go back to more fonts and as you can see on the right hand side, you can just click the little X next to the My Fonts tab and it'll actually remove those fonts from your fonts on Google Docs. If this was helpful, ladies and gentlemen, drop us a like, show us some love. If you have any questions, you can leave it in the comment section. We'll see you next time. Cheers.